this is a moment to take a deep breath. A deep breath of gratitude with all of us being in a safe and nurturing environment. Not everybody is as lucky as we are here at RUAS. I would like to virtually transport you to three different places. Place number one. You can see a 16-year-old boy is admitted with severe pneumonia. Despite being put on a ventilator, this boy is gasping for oxygen. The doctors and the nurses are trying their best to save this boy using the best of facilities that they have and the best of techniques that they know. But the biggest concern is looming that the nearest ICU specialist team is at least two hours away. This is place number two. In this corner of the country, the farmer who's lovingly sown his fields is now staring at the sky bleakly as well as at his future. He's trying to assess whether to water his crops. Now every drop matters, whether it comes from the sky or his pump set, in which case he will need access to more funding to keep his farms running. This is the third place, one of the most sensitive international borders, which is heavily guarded. You can see the trucks and the bunkers here. These are understandable, but what about the beer bottles? The beer bottles are an answer, the simplest answer to infiltration, because that's a huge issue in this area. And these beer bottles are the simplest way to provide uh, an indication of sound to detect intrusion in these areas. You know, the world around us is pretty complicated. But thankfully, we have solutions because of technology. For this boy who is in rural Bihar, the hospital that he was admitted to was on the network of this startup called Cloud Physician, a healthcare startup. And this startup, being in Bangalore, has a team of ICU specialists, the intensivists, who are deftly able to guide the doctors and the nurses in this rural Bihar hospital with the best of techniques that had never been done before in this hospital. And thankfully, and very miraculously, this boy survived. And today, he is back to where he rightfully belongs, the school. Not just this boy. Not just this boy. Even at Kachar's Cancer Hospital in Assam, even at SNM Hospital at Leh, 14,000 feet above the Himalayas, Cloud Physician is taking quality ICU care to the nook and corners of our country. For this farmer, he doesn't have to rely on his gut instinct alone because he has to his aid the technology. Satellite technology is coming to his aid and it is combining with the power of soil technologies. So now, Satsure, this startup is really aiding the farmer to make a data-based decision whether to water his crops. And this data intelligence is aiding not only this farmer, but it's also aiding the, far, the village, the city authorities on data-driven planning. As a bonus, even the financial institutions are able to provide better credit to this farmer. Thanks to the uh, satellite technologies provided by Satsure, a startup which is providing decision intelligence right from space. And we are working with this startup. You know, they, they are working in partnership with Cisco and Quantala Technologies to provide access to credit to the farmers. And at this international border, thankfully, we don't have to rely on beer bottles alone. We have technologies to our rescue again, because thanks to startups like Kron's coverage, we are able to provide real-time intrusion detection and instant alert, keeping the borders safe and all of us safer. Now, did you know that these combat operations had other startup connects too? There is this Bangalore-based startup called Tonbo Imaging, which provides thermal imaging to not only the Indian Army, but to armies across the world. Satsure, Tonbo Imaging, Kran Systems, Cloud Physician are doing it for us. 
they are inspiring each one of us not just with their stories but the impact that they are creating around us in our everyday lives so i am sure at least 50% of people in this audience are aspiring to be entrepreneurs so join me as we go about finding the cape for aspiring entrepreneurs startups are the buzzword today but startups are beyond just a buzzword it's about touching the lives of people through technology it's it's about uh, and if you ask me is there a formula is there a recipe for impactful entrepreneurship unfortunately there isn't it's it's not like as simple as finding the area of a triangle or making paneer butter masala with a sequence of instructions it's not as simple as that but based on my observation in my journey having been part of a startup writing the very first line of code to build 2g 3g and 4g stacks for mobility being part of a startup that got acquired by a corporate giant cisco and now on my current work engaging with hundreds of startup founders like those of cloud physician like those of satsure cron systems there are few observations there are a couple of patterns that emerge during the course of my engagement with them and this is really what i would like to share with all of you the 3d framework for impactful entrepreneurship dream discover and dare to succeed impactful innovators are dreamers their dreams are as big as the success of liam livingstone or alby morkel or chris gale or our own ms dhoni at the indian premier league now talking of ipl a keen eye you would see that the entire stadium is filled with logos and these are logos of startup which are happening in that season right from the players jerseys to the boundary cushions to the commercial ad breaks startups are everywhere and these startups are not only carving a place for themselves but they are also inspiring an entire generation of viewers they are inspiring an entire generation of viewers to tread down the startup path so in our endeavor to dream we see that if we go back to theoretical frameworks the maslow's hierarchy of needs it it talks about the basic needs for a person an individual and today in this era we see that startups and the tech industry has taken over the maslow's hierarchy of needs my need for food comes from big basket healthy buddha magic bricks and my gate have ensured a safe and secure home for me i'm connected to my work as well as my loved ones through telegram and webex and how about twitter and linkedin every prestigious honor is inked on these platforms including this very prestigious stage is finding a place on linkedin and twitter self actualization is probably the only thing left but even there if you ask google it gives us 23000 results in less than 0.4 seconds to understand self actualization in 2 minutes that's the power of the tech industry and the startups around us but if you look at the hierarchy of needs again and pause for a moment this talks about the hierarchy of needs for an individual and now in this era of digitization it's imperative that we transcend beyond just the needs of an individual and go about finding the needs of the community the needs for the world the planet what can we do and that's where i think the united nations sustainability development goals precisely fits in they are a perfect extrapolation of maslow's hierarchy of needs extrapolating from an individual's needs to the needs of communities people and the planet and for all of you aspiring entrepreneurs out there i would invite you to dream dream of creating solutions platforms for the benefit of people the planet keep sustainability central to your aspirations ethics and responsibility being the core of your creation how can you nurture peace and prosperity around us and for such lofty dreams to come true it is required that we move beyond to the discover phase research tells us that this discover phase is very key in the journey of an entrepreneur 
I want to refer to this wonderful book called Eight Steps to Innovation by Professor Rishikesh Krishnan, the director of IM Bangalore. He and his co-author, Vinay Dabolkar, they call out three steps. They talk about feeling the pain, wave, and the waste. And to be precise, feeling the pain of the customers and the markets. Sensing the wave of technology and the social trends. And how do we see the waste around us and see how human efforts and critical resources can be saved? How can we make a difference? Take the case of Praveen and Aarti. Praveen and Aarti, they sensed the pain, they felt the pain of undergraduates in India. They saw that about one out of every five undergraduates in India were unemployable. When they started probing into the reasons behind it, uh, several pain points surfaced, like the lack of access to quality content, the lack of access to peer connects, the lack of access to opportunities, and they plunged right in. They created Let's Connect, an edtech startup, which was created as a virtual university block, and it's today one of India's largest online platform, largest online networking platform for colleges. Let's connect here, Praveen and Aarti felt the pain of students. And today, they have extrapolated this platform, the wonderful solution that they have built to 300,000 users across 22 cities, growing 10x. That's the power of feeling the pain. Take the case of Hemalata Annamalai. She was running a consulting firm in Singapore. And she, has been, she had been in the IT industry for several years. But way back in 2008, she sensed the wave of electric vehicles. And she plunged into it, building ampere vehicles, building electric scooters right from scratch. And no wonder, with the progress of battery technology, the entire automobile industry has warmed up to EVs. No wonder when Greaves decided to acquire ampere. You know, she had sensed the wave and she had captured the market in a big way in the EV industry. Waste, seeing waste is such a detestful experience. But not for Niveda and her startup TrashCon, because they had developed groundbreaking technology to separate bio-waste and non-bio-waste to an accuracy of 99.6%. And they were actually generating process waste and making boards out of it. They were called wow boards. And these wow boards are actually used to create everyday furniture. Think of such wonderful transition right from waste. And this waste doesn't have to be literally waste. It could be waste of water. It could be waste of electricity. It could even be waste of human efforts and labor. And what about the time we waste waiting in hospitals or airports or even on the phone for several hours sometimes, you know, on the customer care and such. And that's where technologies like IoT, technologies like conversational AI, all of these technologies are really coming to the rescue for people like you and me. I would encourage all of you aspiring entrepreneurs to feel the pain, to sense the wave of social trends and the technology trends around us and see the wave. Not just you know, from the small picture, but the bigger picture. It is imperative to take stock of the bigger landscape as well as the tiniest details. This is what really sets us up for daring to succeed. Once we are dreaming of making a huge change around us, as Peter Drucker, the management guru says, the best way to predict our future is to create it. But it's not so simple. You would imagine that starting a startup is just about going from the start to end line, but the reality is so different. Just take the case of the pandemic. So many businesses died down. So many businesses had to shut down because of several reasons. But then, I think the Darwin's principle of survival applies to startups too. Adaptability, flexibility has to be in the DNA of aspiring entrepreneurs. Because you will have to juggle through multiple challenges to get to the finale, to the goal, which may be very different for different people. The 
fit the goal, which is the success milestone is entirely different and it, it differs from one person to another. You may want to become a unicorn creating valuation of a billion, while I may want to create value for a billion people and beyond. Take the case of Sunil Gupta, for instance. As the CEO of Kuno Labs, he has been at the fore championing quantum key distribution technology. Now, he's been ahead on this for quite a while now. And despite all of the challenging environments that he's been in, he's pivoted several times, adapted to the requirements of the changing market conditions. And today, he takes pride in having set up the first quantum lab for the Indian Army. People like Sunil Gupta are driven by passion. They are driven by purpose. And that's what impactful entrepreneurs do. You know, they are driven by passion and purpose. So they forge high stakes path. They forge a path of high risk. And not just that, they are fixers and creators who look at things with a different perspective, totally. They are are maven with respect to relationship, they are pros at networking, and they help people flourish in their lines of businesses, creating win-win situation. And now that we have decoded the three Ds of impactful entrepreneurship, I urge each one of you aspiring entrepreneurs to dream high, discover the undiscovered, and dare to succeed. The digital first world is right in front of us, not just to create things in areas like EV, crypto, or meta, but to go beyond that. Look at areas like SDGs. What can we do for the planet? What can we do for the communities around us? How can we touch the lives of people using technology? How can we make things simple and intuitive for you and me to use? I in invite all of you aspiring entrepreneurs to dare to succeed. At this juncture, Swami Vivekananda's words echoes in my ears. Arise, awake, and stop not till the goal is reached. Thank you.